Uh, hello everybody and welcome to your next C Sharp and XNA tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial we're going to be learning about sounds and adding sound effects to our program. Okay. So first of all for sounds you need to always incorporate the audio uh, namespace. Now uh, it, by default in the game1.cs file is there but if you have any other classes and you want to use sounds then you have to include the audio okay so first of all uh, loading in things in, in XNA anything as you've noticed like textures and sprite fonts that they're loading them in is all the same so first of all we have to know what what file type we're loading in so first um so I'm going to load in where what we're loading in is a sound effect type okay sound effect and I'm going to name it sound okay so loading in sound effects is not any different than loading in textures or, or sprite fonts or anything uh, so we do uh, sound is equal to content content dot load sound effect and we'll load in the sound effect name now I don't have any sound effect in right now but uh, I'll do sound okay and to play the sound uh, is, is fairly simple all you have to do is do the sound name dot play and you can uh, pause the sound uh, no you can stop a sound etc etc okay uh, so if I was to uh, let me import a sound right now okay so sorry I will add an existing item. Uh, I have a lot of files and stuff on my computer. So music. So I'll use this sound effect. Okay, so this sound effect uh, I, I use in the game. If you've never in my game, my latest game tutorial, you'll hear the sound effect in there. My game development, uh, not tutorial, my videos on my current game development. Uh, but I'll change the sound. And of uh, the f sound file types, XNA supports, I think it's um, Wave and W. Um, WMA. I don't know if WMA re um, reverts to the music file type or the sound file type. So. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't really clarify that, but you you can find that on the easy search on Google or something. Uh, so we have our sound effect inputted. So if I was to run this program, uh, everything should run smoothly. So right there hear the sound effect but it's repeating over and over and over and over again right uh, so what we can do is that uh, like we could have a variable that could say that if it if the sound is playing then doesn't play again but basically that is how you do a sound effect so for the sound effect to play once I, I'll just say uh, play once with false and simple enough if not play once then play the sound and after that we'll set play once equals to true so only play the sound effect once so if I was to run this program one more time okay so play the sound effect once so that is it for this tutorial. I know it was short, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and bye.